Hi and welcome to this tutorial for Fastlane Digital Audio School done in Montpellier, France, an Ableton Certified Training Center. In the first part of this tutorial about the arpeggiator, I showed you how to control the amount of groove the arpeggiation had. I did also show you how to group the arpeggiator within a rack to create parallel MIDI lines to feed into your sound generator. Finally, I did also show you how to recuperate, reconstitute the chords you had fed into the arpeggiator using a chord plugin after the arpeggiator. Now, in the second part of this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to humanize further, how to give a lot of movement to your arpeggiation. In fact, the arpeggiator can be rigid and repetitive, and we're going to find a workaround for that. So remember, we had a groove and here we had a piano line I created now this is well and good but as you can hear it's extremely repetitive so the way I recommend using the arpeggiator is using your controller so I'm gonna go to my push here and map some of the controls on the arpeggiator I'm gonna enter the user mode and assign this first button the second button make sure we're using the right behavior here I'm also going to lower the range of movement of these controls. I'm now going to move to the second arpeggiator and assign again some controls on my controller and reduce the range of movement once more, like so. That's it. We could go a lot further with these mappings, but I want to keep it simple for this tutorial here. Great. So we get out of this mapping mode. Now you're going to hear I can control now. completely control like so cool so that's well and good but I'd like to record these movements and edit them further to do so I'm going to create a new MIDI track, open the ins and outs and ask this MIDI track to listen to the original MIDI track, this one, the one that has the arpeggiator. I'm going to arm this brand new MIDI track and record all the movements I'm going to do inside a MIDI clip, like so. Like so, you can see all the MIDI notes have been recorded into a brand new MIDI clip. I can now drag this clip onto the original track, the one that has the piano on it, and deactivate my MIDI tracks. Now I can easily play back the recording. I can also bring that clip over to the other side on the arrangement view and further edit this clip. Obviously, I'm going to do that really quickly here. I'm just going to grab a few parts here and there and cut them from the rest, like so. And I can now compile all these different bits together to create a much more groovier line, like so. Consolidate, Command J, and bring that back to the other side, loop it, and play it, like so. Right there. So you can further edit these nodes. You can change their length, change their position, add nodes, even add another groove template to it. And I think this adds a lot of movement, a lot of fun as well to using an arpeggiator. As you're playing on your controller, you're feeling it, you're having fun, and all of this can be further edited using this technique. That's it for us today. I hope you've enjoyed these quick tutorials on tricks, arpeggiation tricks, and I'll see you later on another tutorial for Fastlane. Bye.